Today's topic is trigonometry and we'll be looking at how we can use this to find out missing side lengths in right angle triangles. Right, the key words here, we'll be looking at them throughout the lesson, but the one that you may not be familiar with is theta. Now that's just a Greek symbol for missing angles. So, before we start to use the trigonometric functions, we need to be able to label up a right angled triangle. So, here we have a triangle. The side that is opposite to the right angle Okay, so there's my right angle. The side that's opposite is known as the hypotenuse. Okay, the longest side of the triangle. This side here is known as opposite because it is opposite to the side to the given angle in the question. Okay, and the last side is known as the adjacent. Okay, all you need to know about the adjacent is that it's next to the angle. Okay, so what we label up first is the hypotenuse. Okay, the hypotenuse first, then the opposite, and finally the adjacent side. Okay, so let's have a look at this so first one I need to label up is the hypotenuse which is opposite the right angle so there it goes woohoo it's correct right the next one is the opposite which is opposite the angle given in the question over here there we go and finally the last slide would always be the adjacent okay I'll show you another example. So firstly, the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. There we go. Then the side opposite the angle is the opposite. Woohoo! And finally, the last side left is the adjacent. Okay. What I would like you to do is pause the video and have a go at this question. Okay, so what you should have got hypotenuse there opposite over there and finally adjacent there now what I would like you to do is have a go at these questions in your book pause the video these are the answers you should have got can you self assess Okay, let's have a look at how we actually find the missing lengths now. Now, you, you may have noticed on your calculators, there's three, three buttons, sin, cos, and tan. That's just shorthand for sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, what these three buttons do is they just, they are ratios that convert between lengths and angles in a triangle. Okay, there are two different units. These three buttons help to convert between them. So these three are my four, three formula triangles. One way some people try to remember this is suck it away, or some old hag cracked all her teeth on an apple. Okay, you need to be able to get these letters in the correct order, otherwise everything goes wrong. Right here, you can notice that Greek symbol we mentioned earlier on theta. All right, like we said. That's just the angle. Okay, you need to know these formulas off by heart because they are not given to you in the exam. So let's have a look at how to apply them now. So that's that side there that we will be working at. So step one is to label your sides. Okay, so there is my hypotenuse. Okay, and that is my opposite. And finally, that is my adjacent. Step two, write out your formula triangles. All 
okay so the way we just remember this sakatawa or some old hag cracked her, all her teeth on an apple okay so that's my three formula triangles Okay, step three, you're going to cross off what's been given a value. Now, what I mean by that is it's been given a, numer a numerical value. Now, what's been given a numerical value? The three, the angles. So, as we said, the S, the C, and the tan are all connected to your angle. So, you always cross these three off. Okay, and what else has been given a value? We can see the opposite has been given a value of 5 centimeters. So, I've also crossed that off. Step 4. Cross off. Cross off what you need to calculate. And in this case, we need to calculate the hypotenuse because it asks me to work out the length yz. Okay, now a is not relevant in this question. Okay, so you'll always have one side that's not relevant. You're neither working it out nor it has a value, so watch out for that. Okay, back to step four. Cross off what you need to calculate. So I'm calculating the hypotenuse. So I'll cross that off. You'll notice there'll be one formula triangle with everything crossed off, and that's the one we're using. Okay, so in this one, so is the triangle we're going to use. Now, you may come have come across formula triangles like this in science or in other parts of maths. So how do we use them you cover the letter that you want to work out so in this case i want to work out h okay okay so i want to work out h so i can write out the formula h is equal to opposite divided by sine theta okay so let's plug the values in so the opposite is five centimeters and divided by sine theta which is 32 which is the angle remember you need to close the brackets when you're using the calculator so let's pop them values into the calculator okay so all i'm doing is i can use a fraction button or i can do it as a division also so five divided by sine 32 close my brackets and there's my answer 9.4353995740 now it's asking me to give my answer to three significant figures okay so significant figures are count from the beginning one two and three unless it started with a zero now that becomes nine point four three four four sorry because it will round up because the number after the line is five 9.44 centimeters okay so step one label your sides step two write your formula triangles cross off what's been given a value cross off what you need to calculate and then use the formula triangle okay so if you have a cover for the top value for example 
If you're going across, you 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 would times. But in this case, because we're going, we are doing top over the bottom. We need to divide the two values. Okay. What you guys can do now is pause the video and have a go at this question. Have a go at these questions and upload your work for your teacher to check. Thank you.